Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 18 August 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor online Tasneem Bulbulia unpacks South Africa's consideration of the design for a sustainable automotive industry. South Africa's automotive manufacturing sector is widely regarded as a success story. However, it must now bolster local demand and adapt its policies and initiatives amid a weak domestic growth outlook and the global, albeit uneven, shift towards new energy vehicles. The engineering news features focus on the Southern African Institute of Steel Construction, where the local steel industry is in prime springboard position and materials handling and logistics, where an annual materials handling conference was well represented. The Mining Weekly features focus on Australian mining, where an explorer diversifies with a Guinea iron project. And new mining technologies, where automating mines improves safety. This week's business leader is William Jogan, the president of the South African Institute of Mining and Metallurgy and a partner at SRK Consulting. And as this week's cartoon shows, while some ESCOM power stations are operating more stably and various private generation projects are offering some relief, load shedding continues to weigh down the real economy. We hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.